Hey everyone, this is Judy with JLB Crafts. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, thank you so much for giving me a try. What does this big pile of stuff have in common? It's all um, sticker storage. It's all ways I, st I store the odd shaped size stickers. So let's get going. I do plan to do a second video where we get dive deeper into the standard size if you're a happy planner, um, the standard size happy planner sticker books, or um, they could also be some of the other brands, the Paper House Productions books. But that that standard um, size sticker book, I'm not gonna get into that too much today. I wanna talk about how I store the other sized stuff. So let's get started. I've had several requests for this video. You guys see different things that I use in my videos and you have some curiosity about, you know, what is that? How did I make it? So let's get into it. So the first thing I know you guys have seen in my catch-all videos is my my sticker bits, as they call them. And a lot of these are pieces out of Happy Planner sticker books. Um, this is just an old wooden Rolodex. This stuff, if I flipped this over, this stuff would totally fall out. There's no, um, well, I lied. The, the cards themselves are attached on this little rack and they do pop out. And it's just for business cards. Um, you can use any, any kind of Rolodex you want as long as it just holds loose cards. So this is this is my first way I store odd shaped stickers. Just little bits, things that you find yourself reaching for all the time. I did cut these out of full pages. Um, so there is, that is a sacrifice you'll need to make. You have to be willing to cut these out. Sometimes I get them in happy mail or at swaps, although I haven't been to a swap in a year, but um, this is my first way of storing the littlest pieces of stickers that I have is um, my sticker Rolodex. The next way I, I like to store stickers is photo, al photo albums of various sizes. So when you get an Etsy shop that you like, um, I love Daisy Mae Plans, um, but she has gone... Um, off the grid for a while. Rumor was that she had um, COVID or something. I don't know. I never heard one way or the other. I still check every couple weeks to see if she's back or not, but all of her stickers, and you'll find this um, a common theme in Etsy shops, especially like, like the European ones. They have a certain size of sticker sheet, um, and you can measure them. Lots of times they're very similar to um, things that will fit in a common photo album without any modification. So these are um, just under seven and I'm going to guess around five. Yep, just under five. So the, this is a five by seven photo album. You can get these on Amazon. You can get these, you know, at Walmart. Four by six is more common, but five by, so this is a four by six. I got probably for a buck at Walmart or a Dollar Tree. So four by six, five by seven, very common. Great for storing. If you have, like I said, an Etsy shop that you love, these are Live Love Posh stickers. They fit in here pretty well. I think I might've, did I have to trim these? I don't remember. Every once in a while you have to trim just the tiniest little bit off. Here are my Birds Fly Studios stack ups. You guys see me use these in my plan planning videos all the time. So definitely um, look at photo albums. Um, this is a four by six. So this is great for the smaller ones. These are from um, River and in Ink. So some words, um, some date covers, which I always forget these are in here, but um, and then you guys have seen me the, use these in my wellness videos all the time, my hydration. And I understand these are from Wilson Wild. These are not available anymore. But again, if you get a shop that you like, that you order a bunch of stuff from, um, lots of times they'll be on some relatively standard sticker paper um, that you can, you can get a little photo book and use. Um, I went to a planner meetup a while back down in Portland, Oregon, West Coast Planners. Um, it was back in the fall of 2019. Um, and there were tons of, of little of, of giveaways, um, table gifts and whatnot. And so I just, this entire sticker book is pretty much stuff that I got from that event, West Coast 
um, planner. So I took the biggest sheets I had, which tended to be five by seven. Um, they were, this is all the different West Coast Planner 2019 swag. So um, this is just a lot of the stuff. So it's fun because A, I can see everything. B, I can remember what event I got it from. And there are some pictures of the folks that were at my table. So it's a little bit of a memory book, but it's also a functional sticker storage. Um, if you do maybe a Galentine's Day, um, and not everything is that size, but apologies for <laughs> some of the words you're seeing in this, but um, some I, I did a um, an advent calendar swap on Facebook in one of my groups. Um, they, there are Galentine's swaps. Um, I went to a local meetup and we ha always have a swap table there. So just um, lovely way to store these, to group them. You can, you can use some of the tabs on here. And so you could have Galentine in the front and Advent in the back. Um, so again, just a five by seven, um, little cheap photo album. Um, I also have had you folks ask me about my big Planners Anonymous book. So I've been um, getting Planners Anonymous sub kits, I need to fix my labels, for quite a while now, more than a year. And all of her sheets are um, this size, which looks to be about four by six. Yep, just under four. And just, yeah, this is five and a half. But um, the pocket will hold, so this is a four by six photo album. The biggest one I could find, the absolute biggest I could find, this thing is massive. Um, and I can fit almost everything in here from a given kit. So let me go to one of the more recent kits. So this is um, under the stars and I do have a flip through of this. Um, all my Planners Anonymous flip throughs are, my, my channel is color coded. So this one will be in orange, this video, because it's more of a DIY. Um, all my unboxings are pink. So when you look at the thumbnails, look at the swish, the pink ones are Planners Anonymous. Well, not Planners Anonymous, but any kind of unboxing. So you get, I get the extra sticker kit. So you get an art card, you get several sheets of stickers. Um, and you can see I just slide them right into this photo album. Um, the quotes, I also put the die cuts in here because they pretty much always fit in the same four by six size pocket and the quote cards. Um, and then there's my next kit. So I have them all laid out the same way. I always start with the art card. I always have the sticker sheets that have the characters next. Then I go to deco, then I go to full boxes, then I go to functional boxes. Um, then I go to quotes, the minis, the date covers, and I always end up with the die cuts and the quote cards. So it's just a great way. Here's the fierce kit. I have unboxings for all these final few that I'm showing you. Um, and I always, so here's, I'm ready for my next kit. So this is just, and I will link this in the description box. I got this off of Amazon. It does have a bookshelf case that it fits into. It's just a plastic case to keep it shut, keep it neat on your bookshelf. Um, I figure I can do most of the rest of this year with these kits before I have to get a new one. It's pretty fat, but there are quite a few pages at the back that aren't full yet. So just this is just, again, a four by six photo album, the biggest one I could find. Um, I store my papers, my Planners Anonymous papers separately. Right now they're just in a cardboard box, nothing fancy. These also are Planners Anonymous um, stickers. These are another way you can order stickers. These are the weekly kits. Um, and again, they fit in a five by seven photo album. So these will not fit in that. I don't always get these. These I get from some of the kits, the older kits that I couldn't get. Um, plus she started coming out with these um, for every kit. I also have in here, the two um, Craft Craft Smart, Craft Smith. I never can remember. I think it's Craft Smith. Yep, Craft Smith. There were two Craft Smith boxes that came out. Planners Anonymous partnered with Craft Smith and had two boxes that came out at Michael's. I don't know if there are more in the future, but again, these happen to be too big to fit in my other binder, so they go they went in this one. So 
five by seven photo albums, four by six photo albums, great way to store a lot of the stickers you get. Um, some of the Planners Anonymous kits come with sticker storage. Again, these will hold four by six as opposed to the five by sevens, but these are just little snap pouches. So this is another option. Um, and these I like in particular, and I show this in my um, Sakura Melody unboxing, which this is my classic size Sakura Melody. So if you happen to use a traveler's notebook, um, one that has the strings, a great way, I think Sammy showed this to us, to store your stickers for it on the go. Say you gotta take a quick weekend trip or something and you wanna grab your planner, grab some stickers you think you might need, assuming they're not the full size happy planner ones, put them in the pouch, snap it over the, the um, and I, I just grabbed them all. You don't have to put it over all of them, but, um, and, and there you go. You're good to go with your stickers um, or whatever bits you need to take. And there's still tons and tons of room in this planner, as you can see. So just that's just another um, option. I don't know about ordering these pouches specifically. All the ones I have actually were the bonus item in um, a Planners Anonymous kit, but I would guess that you could probably order these. You may even be able to order five by seven ones. Um, and speaking of these photo albums, you can also put these in here. Um, right there, see, there's a, a center to it where the little lamination is. You can take one of these with you. Um, this is the smaller four by six. The five by seven is absolutely gonna fit in here as well. Here's a bigger, the five by seven. And you can get these also with black pages or white pages, whichever you prefer. Um, so here we go, if I go to the, the center, I'm just finding a center here. I can slide this in here. Um, oops. There we go, this slides right in here too. And since there's so much room in this, and I wouldn't keep it in there because I would be afraid it would damage the elastic, but to slide it in there, just to um, throw this in a backpack and go on a road trip, no big deal. I can't get my, there we go. And um, it's quite a bit fatter, but it fits in there, no problem at all. This could go in my backpack um, for, for travel and be just fine. So. That's part of the reason why I wanted this um, Melody in a classic size so very badly because I was so looking forward to having the strings for different options. Um, the next thing I want to talk about, in one of my videos, um, I, I have some videos on printing my own stickers. And for, for me, I print on full size eight and a half by 11 sheet sticker paper. So you can get um, a normal, just a normal high school, junior high, three ring binder, um, get some sheet protectors, and I will link these in the description box. I splurged and got a faux, a faux leather one, um, but this is just the same as what the high school kids, the junior high kids use. It's just a normal three ring binder that, that pops open and closes. Um, and then these are just, you can buy these at any Office Max, any Home Depot, not Home Depot, <laughs> Office Max, Staples. I don't know where Home Depot came from, you guys. I really don't. Um, these are just full-size sheet protectors. Um, that's all they are. I think I this was a box of 50 that I ordered on Amazon for a few dollars. Um, and they're, they're meant for three ring binders. This is the smallest three ring binder I could get. I think it's a half inch. Um, you can get gigantic ones. Um, and I just slide my large, so this is my solution for the really large sheets of stickers. So eight and a half by 11. I just got these at Dollar Tree for a dollar, um, but they are just alphabet stickers and they were way too big to go in any of my others. So you can cut them or I was like, hey, those will fit. And in this one case, I did have to cut it. So I very carefully cut it in between the letters. But this is a great solution for the really, really big sheets of stickers. Um, most of the Etsy shops I've come across don't sell sheets that need this size, but lots of them do sell sheets that are bigger than five by seven. Um, so these will not fit in this. They'll fit 
but they'll stick out of the top. And I, I don't like to cut off the identif- well, actually in this case they won't because these are side load. So I'd have to trim a couple rows off of this to get it to fit, which then I would take these and put them in my Rolodex, in my sticker bits, if I had to do that so I could cut the name off. I could cut in between this row and then cut that piece in half and just that would fit in my sticker Rolodex. Um, so that is also an option if you really want to keep like all your Etsy stuff in the same 5x7 folder, that would be an option. Um, most of your three ring binders are going to come with pockets. So um, I just am making use of the pockets. These are all my football stickers since it's not football season. I just kind of have them in long term storage back there for the fall. Um, but this is, so this is my three ring binder. These, like I said, are just full size, full size sheet protectors. Normal three ring binder, you can get this at Walmart in the back to school section. I'm sure you can find these sheet protectors as well. Um, but that is my big sticker sheet storage solution. Um, the next thing I wanna talk about is a couple things that I showed in a couple videos. Um, so these are, sticker books that I actually made. I just used a normal glue stick and these are classic size half sheet note pages um, that I just, I wasn't using. Um, right there, big ideas, classic size, you can tell by the number of discs, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine discs is classic size and obviously this is a half sheet, not a full sheet. And I just took one, these are the um, journaling cards. So these are Happy Planner. They came in a, and I don't have any um, that I haven't already put in here, so I don't have any examples to show you the process. But basically I cut, I cut the title of the package off and, and used a glue stick or a tape runner and put it on there. And then they come on these sheets. So these are actual stickers that you can take off and put in your Happy Planner. That's sticky and it folds open, but this is just sticker paper. And this is the sheet, I didn't have to cut it down or anything, but it fits perfectly on a half sheet. So I just took all the ones in this particular package, so this package was Squad Life, and I just put them back to back with tape runner or glue stick on half sheets. And then obviously the half sheets are punched, so I put them on rings. These covers, are from the Dollar Tree Super Cheap Cutting Boards. So this is what the package looks like. It's a chopping mat. There are two of them in here. They're super, super thin and flimsy plastic. Um, and I just, I cut them down, rounded the corners, and punched them. And this is thin enough. Um, I think I used, I don't remember for sure if I used my Happy Planner Punch or not. But all the spacing on all the brands is exactly the same. So if you have a Levenger punch, if you have a tool punch, if you just have a single hole punch, you can punch your holes and then use scissors to cut a slit. Um, and that is how I made these sticker books. So again, these are the memory uh, journaling cards, I think Happy Planner calls them. Um, and then the cheap um, cutting mats or place mats, anything like that to make your covers and they're just big enough to, to protect the front. So, and then how do I store these? Well, you can use one of the Happy Planner sticker boxes. Let me grab those. All right, so um, storage options for these books then. So they are no wider than a Happy Planner sticker book. Um, they are around the same size. So you can put them, you can store them, in a sticker book storage box. Um, they're, they're the same size, so they will definitely fit in your storage box. Um, they will also fit, um, it's been making the rounds, uh, these containers, storage containers from Target. These are, here's a picture of the, of the label. It's a storage basket, I think they're $4 each. I think you can get them in white, black, or gray. These, um, again, are from Target. They're $4 each. I love them because I haven't done it yet, but you could dress these up by weaving. These are actual holes in the plastic. It's a solid molded piece, but you could dress this up by weaving thin strips of ribbon through here. 
You could wrap washi tape around the solid parts. Um, this has a little bit of a curve and a little bit of a texture, so I don't know that washi tape would stay very well. This part down here is a little smoother, but I would definitely think about weaving ribbon through here. Um, that could definitely dress it up a little bit. But your Happy Planner sticker books fit perfect down here. That's why they're so popular with folks. They do have a couple little corners in here that you can catch on, but um, as long as you're aware of that, it's not a problem at all. But these sticker books that I made fit in here perfectly. So just be mindful if this is your solution that you're planning on when you're cutting your covers. Make sure you don't cut them way, way big. Um, they can't come out too far or this becomes not an option. So there is um, how, so I have tons of Ikea bookshelves in my office. My husband and I are both um, retired engineers, so we have lots and lots of textbooks. We have lots and lots of bookshelves. We love our books. And so I just made some space in my office and these slide right on my bookshelf. Um, one of the other things I've done very similar to the journaling cards is the tiny sticker books. So I had a bunch of them um, and I never found myself reaching for them. Again, these are colored, but they're just, again, the super thin cutting mats, um, chopping kitchen mats that I cut. Let's look at this one because it's clear. Um, so I took my tiny sticker books. I tried, you can see the hole punches. I tried putting them on discs and I, A, I had too many, so I had a bunch of them. But B, I just, again, did not find myself reaching for them. When I put them, they fit on the half sheets. Um, you can see I did have to trim them down a little bit. Um, but again, this is just classic half sheet paper and I, I don't have any to show you my process. But three fit on a page, so you rip, all, rip everything out, trim them down a little bit, just trim the hole off so that they're as small as possible, and then just use a glue stick or um, tape runner and you can stick them three to a page on your half sheet note paper or you can cut your own paper, computer paper, down to size and punch it. You don't have to buy Happy Planner classic half sheet pages. You can just, I happen to have a bunch that I was not using. Um, so I just went ahead and put each one on here. You don't have to put the covers on. I like to put the covers on so I can see. Um, but this way, I reach for these. Um, I remember I've got them, they're more convenient. I can put them in whatever order I want, so work my way up from the subtle colors to the brighter colors. Um, and this is, this is the way to use them. Um, again, these will store, these go right in the same basket. They are the same size, and this way I reach for them. So, Again, right now I'm just talking about solutions for not sticker book size stickers. Um, then the last thing I want to talk about in this video is dashboard packs. So um, these are the stickers that come on the dashboard packs. Here I happen to have a loose one. They had a dog one and a cat one um, last, I think it was last fall. And so these are on the really heavy plastic dashboards. I just took a nice big pack pack of rings. These are plastic black expander discs. Again with my chopping mat covers. So again, you just cut it to size, cut it, cut it at the bottom, cut it to the right width, depending on if you're making this size. The half sheet ones are a little bit narrower, so this is not going to fit in my basket. This goes on my bookshelf and my basket sits next to it and that way it doesn't fall over. Um, but this is, uh, and you wouldn't even need a cover on the back because it's, they, they are plastic. But here's some back to school ones. So these all came um, from Target from a couple years ago in the back to school. But these are just stickers stuck on a, a plastic dashboard. And so I just put them all on the biggest set of discs I had, threw a cover on there, and I'm good to go. And as you can see, it's very full, um, but this is just gonna, having these all together makes it more likely for me to reach for them. And that's the key, right? Storing things in a way that makes it convenient and makes it 
doable for you to reach for them. Um, so I do have a follow-up video I'm going to make in the next few days, and we're going to talk about two things in that video. We're going to talk about combo packs. Um, actually, we're going to talk about three things. We're going to talk about we're going to talk about some ideas I have, and I haven't done this yet because I wanted you guys to be involved. But if you find yourself not reaching for these, so this is the accessory book. It's got full-size sticker sheets, but it's also got post-it notes. What are some things we can do to make it more likely to, to like integrate these? So I have the recipe book, sticker book, which I grab for all the time. I don't grab for this one. So what can we do to integrate these to make it so that we grab for them? Um, same thing with these combo packs, I think they're called. So I know this is called an accessory book. It says so right here. I think these are called um, combo packs. And so a couple thoughts on this. Um, we can separate our stickers. They're, they're wide enough to go into a book this size, but they're too wide to go in a half sheet. So same, and then we've got these cards down here, um, and then we've got post-it notes. So what can we do to break this down? So my next video, I'm going to talk about that. I'm also going to talk about um, the new Happy Planner product that came out. I'm going to talk about um, making your own sticker book. So the next one, we're going to focus more on sticker book size sheets. Should I take my sticker books apart? Should I partially take my sticker books apart? If I do take my sticker books apart, what do I do with the stickers after I've taken it apart? Um, let's get into all of that. So again, I'm gonna do another video relatively soon where we're gonna talk about, do I need to buy this to make my own sticker book? Um, and I'm, I'm not a Happy Planner Squad member. I never have been. I love their products, but I don't think you need to be, um, boxed in by the only those options. There are a lot of other options out there. So um, I have this one because I got the pressed florals box, but um, I definitely would need more than one. And so I'm going to show you the alternative for how to do this with things that you can get at the hardware store, um, off of Amazon, things that you may already have in your stash. Um, and then my thoughts on taking apart sticker books, because I did do that um, years ago when I first started and um, I ended up putting some of them back together and I'll talk about how you can put them back together. So this was part one. Stay tuned for part two. I hope to have it up within the next few days. Um, I hope you like this video. I hope it inspires you to be brave and organize your stickers so that you use the stickers so that you reach for them and actually use them. Um, if you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you.